Good morning. This is the, the 9th of April, 7.45 in the morning. Hopefully at 8 o'clock we'll, we'll see something spectacular here. It's called the, the Seven Ball. It's a, it's a wave which travels upstream due to the, the, the unique geography of the area, how the, the, the River Seven kind of funnels the tide and the, the tide is particularly strong. Things which affect the height of the wave are kind of wind direction. So at the moment, the wind is coming from the northeast. It's a gentle, mild one. You can barely see a ripple on the water. But if it's a strong southwesterly, maybe in a low pressure system where there's a storm coming through, uh, you're definitely going to get a bigger wave. Pretty sunny weather. There's a high pressure system which is kind of staying over. Uh, so the, the, the wave won't be as big today. So I am near Frantamon 7, south of Epney. On the far side of the river is uh, Acne, and that way, I'm not quite sure where that way is, probably, probably towards the, the, the heart of Wales, is uh, the, the Seven Boar Inn. So we're, we're on the kind of the, the first, 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 first meander, and it, it's still probably uh, an estuary here. The River Seven is misspelled. We all know from primary school that Seven is spelled. S E V E N, and <laughs> the the River Seven is spelled S E V E R N. Where the R came from, we don't know. The the blue tint to the sky, especially in the if you look in the far distance, shows it's quite a humid day, and it means it's harder to distinguish when the wave is coming. I've just had a report that the wave is on its way, which is. It's good news. I think it travels at around 13 kilometers per hour. You know, this can be variable on the size of the wave, the power it's got. I reckon the birds will, will start to fly away when, when the wave gets closer. So that'll be a good indicator. Wow. You see this kind of brownish tinge on the, on the, the far left hand side and on the right hand side you can see this kind of white water wow it is just a, a movable feast to the eyes it's spectacular just oh this water's just kind of funneled in somehow it's incredible uh, look how much it's, it's just churning up it's it's like a, a sea monster. The, the the second spot I'll be watching it from is near the Anchor Inn. A fun fact is uh, both the uh, the lar longest and largest rivers in England flow through Gloucestershire. There is a surfer. Re oh, there's the boar. There's the boar, and there's the surfer. He's he's standing up. It's pretty shallow. It's probably quite mucky and ooey and gooey as well. This surfer has one chance. He didn't catch it. He did he didn't catch the wave. Oh no. He's got next year though. I suppose. Oh, Oh, that's gutting. <laughs> that really is gutting. That's why surfing is a risk, I suppose. <laughs> you go into freezing cold water, freeze the nuts off, and I can't catch the wave.
logs. It's moving logs on its path. Every bore is slightly different. Some surfers can catch waves and be on them for half an hour. And there you go, you've got a, a full river. This is my last spot. It's quite close to the canal and gradually it's just over there. Yeah, it's a lot narrower here. On the, on the far side of the field we have some sheep. They look pretty interested and involved. Here it is again. Whoa! It's got a fridge in it, it's got a fridge.